just recently you have learned a very big lesson in some area of your life and now you're thinking should I stay there or should I move ahead or if you are planning to move you're thinking how should I move where should I move which is the direction that I should take and if at all I decide to move then what should I do regarding my old habits or what to do regarding my past how to handle my past and move to the future all right so these are the questions which we will try to answer in this video because Saturn has finally moved to Purvashala Nakshatra after a long 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 time I had already made some videos on this two or three videos earlier but many people have requested me to make uh, this video again and give some other insights to how this transit can behave all right so there you go if you want some help from me personally regarding how this transit might affect you then you can go to my website to book a reading you will find the link to my website in the description section of my video and if you are new then you can subscribe and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is wanting to know what Saturn can do in Purvashada. So now what happened was Saturn from Jeshtha Nakshatra it went to Mula from Scorpio to Sagittarius. Sagittarius it entered 26th January 2017 not 18, 17 and yes before I begin God is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there definitely <laughs> okay so last January 2026 Saturn entered 2017 into the sign of Sagittarius then it went back to Jeshtha Nakshatra in Scorpio then again it went back direct then again it crossed Mula and entered Purvashada and in April it went retrograde and it entered Mula again and on September first week it went direct and now finally 27th November almost two three days back Saturn has entered Purvashada again all right and this is going to be a very long transit because Saturn is again going to be retrograde next year and then again it's going to be direct so this motion is going to continue for the rest of the year all right and yes some of you have been asking me regarding the Saturn Ketu conjunction which is going to happen uh, in Sagittarius from March next year I will be making videos on that very soon okay so please be patient so now what is happening is when some planet has crossed Mula Nakshatra and it has entered Purvashada basically what it means it simply means I mean you can go to mythol uh, to the stories to the concepts and all this that's fine that's perfectly all right but in essence what does it mean suppose there's a person who doesn't know anything about astrology and then he comes to know somewhere that hey I heard there's a planet called Saturn which was in a nakshatra called Mula and now it has entered a nakshatra called Purvashara. So now you cannot go and uh, tell him all the things. Oh, Saturn is this, that, blah, blah, blah. Mula is this, that. He will be like, ah, I'm confused. Tell me in layman's terms. See, in layman's terms, what it means, whenever a planet has crossed Mula nakshatra, it means that, see, Mula is what basically it is, containing the galactic center of the universe from which the higher vibrational frequencies they are set to descend to this to this realm to the bhuloka all right either ways you call it so when a planet crosses mula nakshatra regarding the houses which it rules in your chart again i am saying regarding the houses which it rules in your chart you will get a feeling that i had to look to god regarding those houses yes so for example if Saturn ruled your seventh house I mean in your Lagna chart in your D1 chart if it rules the seventh house for example from the ascendant not from the moon then you might have realized that there are some things pertaining to your business your marriage your partnerships which you felt like it's not happening 
<laughs> I'm not able to do it. Not that you are not seeing the results externally that you might be seeing also, but you got a feeling because see, Sagittarius is the sign of God, is the sign of spirituality. And Mula Nakshatra shows working on our weaknesses. Yes, yes, yes. It shows working on our weaknesses. Any planet in Mula Nakshatra will show your weaknesses in a way that now you have to bow down and say to God, Oh my God, please take over. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot handle this. Because when you are in Mula Nakshatra, all the light is coming. Which means... You are seeing all the weaknesses, all the flaws you have been seeing. And Saturn will come to Mula after 30 years. So from the time it was in Mula, around 1988-1989, from that time, whoever was born who had Saturn in Mula or any other person who was born afterwards in 90s, 91 or 2000, check the areas which Saturn is ruling in your chart you would have realized something very important you would have realized that from the time you were born irrespective of the fact you were born on 88 89 or before that or after that irrespective of that fact you would have realized that there were many things which i was pretending i was hiding from whom from myself not from my wife, not from my husband, not from my father, not from my boss, not from my guru. I was hiding from myself, from my own self. Yes, even if you do not have any planet in Mula or you are not running the Dasha of Saturn or Jupiter or you are not running Sadesati, irrespective of that, you would have felt this. So suppose Saturn rules your 10th house. All right, so suppose you are a Aries or a Taurus Lagna, then Saturn is your 10th lot. And suppose you are in your 20s or 30s or 40s, for example. Then you would have realized during the last two years, from January 2017 to November 27 this year, that there were certain things related to your career, which you thought you were very good at, but then it didn't happen at the end. And when you see those weaknesses, then you are forced to make a decision. When a planet is transiting Mula, you will see all the weaknesses pertaining to that planet. And because Saturn is a slow moving planet, it takes long time to cross. And whichever houses Saturn rules in your chart, those houses also need a long time to grow. They need a long time to fructify. Yes, fruits are seen from Jupiter and effort is seen from Saturn. So now, irrespective of the fact that you are having your Saturn return, Saturn return means those who have Saturn in Mula or Purvashada or Uttarashada, the part of Sagittarius. Because Saturn was, Saturn was in the same sign Sagittarius when you were born, all right? So that's called Saturn return. Your Saturn is re returning to the same position. Or you are having your second Saturn return, which means you are in your 50s, 60s. Saturn has come again to that position. Or you are in your teenage, or you are in your mid 30s, 40s. Irrespective of your age, it is highly essential that now you acknowledge the fact that there are some weaknesses and there were some weaknesses and some of the weaknesses can still be there. So when the planet transits Mula Nakshatra, what happens is we become aware of those weaknesses because Mula shows working in the ground level. All right. So now when we see those weaknesses, again, I'm saying pertaining to the houses with Saturn rules in our chart, when we come to Purvashada, so now Saturn has transited to Purvashada. So that means now regarding those houses with Saturn rules, we will be forced to make a decision, not externally, internally. So there are things now which you might have to let go because you might have realized that this is not my domain. 
many taurus and many aries ascendants they have changed their careers why i'm giving this example do you know why because shani is your 10th lord now you have not changed careers actually you have just realized that you have to change your career now why 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 can you tell me why this is happening because saturn as the 10th lord said to you that hey my dear sir my dear madam this is not the place for you belong you are pretending to everybody to yourself to your boss to everybody else that oh i am great at doing this or maybe i should be doing this as my life purpose sixth house is job 10th house is your life purpose that's the difference between sixth house and 10th house so when saturn is the sixth lord for example you are a leo lagna for example then you might see that in your job front but if you are a taurus or aries lagna it is your 10th lord it is throwing light in your entire life purpose 10th house shows what you want to contribute to the world all right and this is not a video for okay leo taurus aries we will go like this all right that you can do yourself i don't want to waste time doing that here for every ascendant because that disrupts the flow very much so now is the time that you will be forced to make a decision or i know many of you have already made the decision many people who have saturn ruling their trines they have made decisions pertaining to their education especially why education because trines deal with education okay so that can manifest in many ways that you are now choosing a different domain to study or you are finalizing something because to finalize something you have to know where you lie right if you do not know where you lie how can you go to the next step so if saturn rules your fifth or ninth it can happen that you are finalizing the university now that can happen where you are going to study yes or which course you will take that also you can finalize so now you will make a decision and when you are making a decision see if you go to the uh, to the details of purva shatra nakshatra you will see that it has something related to a basket which says that okay you have to separate the good and the bad because that's how life is you get the good and the bad so when the basket is there it's related to rice but i am paraphrasing it and i'm telling you what exactly it means it means that now we have to exactly find out or maybe we have already realized or we already found out what is the essence of that area which saturn rules in our chart all right because the that when you when you segregate the good and bad you realize what is actually of value and what is simply a waste of time that's what you realize what is value and what is a wastage so whichever house has certain rules in your chart now is the time why i'm saying because from 2 years we may not be feeling it but now we will start feeling it all right and when we are about to make the decision we will have this tendency to keep going back and forth oh maybe that was right this was wrong blah 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 etc okay so that means that we have still not done our homework properly all right so now when saturn has started entering purva shada take a note of this that eventually you will be uh, in a position where you have to make a decision all right so now if you have not done the homework it is good if you do it now if you complete it and that will depend on what's going on in your chart which dasha you are running which planets are placed in sagittarius if you have any planet placed in mula in your birth chart or in purva shada then you might be uh, forced to make a decision regarding that planet suppose you have venus then something to do with relationship suppose uh, your mars is placed but 
Mars is ruling the 10th house, suppose, then it can happen something to do with your life purpose. Suppose your Lagna itself is Capricorn or Aquarius, then your whole life can demand a new direction. That can happen. When the Lagna Lord changes Nakshatra, that can happen. So the thrust of this video is that we have now understood what our limitations are and to some extent we have walked and to some extent we have not walked. Now how do you know how much have you walked? Check the strength of Saturn in your chart and you can check the strength of Venus because Purvashadha Nakshatra is ruled by Venus, ruled technically. <laughs> so depending on the positions of these two planets in our natal chart it is a good time to work on it now you may be thinking why am i saying is it a good that it's a good time to work because till first or second january venus is in libra still so the nakshatra lord is transiting in the multricon sign all right that's a fantastic time uh, to work on this to work on our shortcomings and our weaknesses so till that time till january 2nd i guess venus will be in libra and then it will move to scorpio so till that time it is in multricon do the homework which is remaining so it's like you have 35 days and after that when it will move to scorpio then also we can do the homework but the time to make a decision is coming closer because Purvashada is related to declarations. Okay. And during this time, it is highly, highly, highly essential that we do spiritual practices. Especially during uh, Fridays or Saturdays. Or we can generically do it on Thursdays also. Because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Venus is the Nakshatra Lord. And Shani itself is the planet. So that's why I said Thursday. Friday and Saturday, these three days, one of them you select, either once, whichever is comfortable for you. If you feel that Thursday, Friday, I have job, I can't do, then at least fast till 12 p.m. on Saturdays, that will help you. And along with this, you can chant a mantra. The mantra is Om Namo Narayanaya. This mantra you can chant. This mantra will greatly benefit you for transit of Saturn through Purvashada Nakshatra. Okay, so that is it from my side. If you want some specific help regarding this transit or any other area in your life from me, then you can go to my website to book a reading. You will find the website down in the description. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know what's going on or what might go on in Purvashada when Saturn enters. Okay. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you find him. Bye-bye.